This is Pothic Joshi, and in this video, I'm going to be presenting a small slice of my trip to SIGGRAPH 2018. The conference was held in Vancouver, a fun, if not unusual, city on the west coast of Canada. Emerging Technologies showcases novel graphics and interaction technology at SIGGRAPH. Here's a walking quadcopter from the University of Tokyo. Seer, the simulative emotional expression robot from Takeyuki Todo. Seeing around corners from Stanford University. And the unusual Levia Pole, a fan driven haptic iteration technology for VR. Here we'll hear a little bit from the folks behind CoGlobe, a multi-person VR experience in the University of British Columbia. Uh, we really wanted to explore um, uh, uh, interacting with the 3D display uh, co-located. So you know, you have two people pointing or looking at the same 3D content, and how, how will they interact over that? So we, we split the stereo rendering into uh, two different pa pairs of glasses. What happens when the globes overlap? So the globes overlap, it's completely fine. It looks like it overlaps to us, but the, the glasses filter out the view from the other viewers, so no they kidding. only see their own view. Yama and Sarai returns with his surrogacy robots. If we shared our budget to other people, what kind of t tasks we can achieve other than just telepresence or like telecollaboration. So actually now what you have experienced now is just basic uh, um, two like two people are sharing the same body and and collaborating from the same point of view, but other tasks can be done with it. Um, for example, rehabilitation or assistance. So, for example, this robot can be mounted in your body and assisting your motion and guiding your motion, other than just operating individually. So it's kind of like changing the, the this body. New to SIGGRAPH 2018 is the Immersive Pavilion, featuring immersive, virtual, and augmented reality experiences. On display was Google's novel Lightfield Capture Rig from Paul Debevec's group. Returning again was the popular VR theatre, showcasing a number of highly curated VR films and experiences. Cycles is Disney's first VR short film. Here's a little bit more about the movie from Jeff Gibson, the director of Cycles. Yeah, so Cycles is Disney Animation's first VR short film. And with this, we're really trying to create a film that scratches on a new kind of an emotional connection in VR. Is how can we tell a story where VR, it's an amazing technology, but also use that technology to enhance the story and make it connect with the audience in a, in a new way. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Um, can, you tell a little, uh, can you say a couple of words about the pipeline that you had for this and what the iteration looked like? Mm -hmm. You know, how did you go from storyboards yeah. to actual cinematics to sort of like assets and stuff like that? Sure. So the, the creation of this film was different because it's our first, we had to figure out the process to create the film, whether it's from the technical production side of things or even the previous side of things. So normally when we do a, a, a film, a feature film, we'll get 2D storyboards and we'll piece those together in, in an edit and create an animatic. For this, we did that, but we felt like it didn't give us the emotional connection or even a sense of the story we were telling. Because we're going to be surrounded by it, we wanted to create a VR animatic. So we brought those 2D storyboards into VR. We were able to be in the house, look around, kind of figure out where we wanted to tell the story from. And we brought the 2D cards in and we realized that it was feeling flat. We weren't getting the sense of our characters, the sense of proximity, the sense of volume. So one of our animators, Daniel Peche, he's an amazing uh, quill painter as well. So he painted some things in VR for us and we brought these paintings in and almost edited those together to give us a sense of this storyboard feeling. It was cool, they're 3D models, so we could kind of move and look around them, get a sense of volume of the characters, a sense of feel and just the overall vibe of the characters early on in the phase of the production phase. So it was really awesome. We used some performance capture as well and just kind of to get a sense of movement and how close is too close. Are the uh, time lapses feeling a little stroby? And yeah, just trying to iterate as much as we can to get that feedback. Is this working? Is it not working? This is the story we want to tell. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no really problem. Yeah. yeah, happy to. Cool. Uh,
Thanks for watching.